Eddie Avram will soon be in the All Balaji show The Verdict versus Nanavati got into a candid chat with us as we asked her about the show her journey and more Before we get started make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for further updates Being from Sweden what attracted you to Bollywood Um uh, It's a childhood dream. Like I was like around 5 years old when I first saw a Bollywood song on the Swedish uh, television and I just fell in love with it the moment I saw it. I was like this is something that I would want to do in life. You know, I asked my parents what is this and they explained me it's called Bollywood and you know, it's in a country called India. And since then I was like India, you know, like that country I have to travel to that country one day, you know. And yeah, so whenever something about like Indian Bollywood would come on the Swedish television, my parents would always like shout out my name. They would be like, "Eli, Eli, come fast, come fast! It's Bollywood!" You know. So I used to run. I used to leave whatever I was doing that moment, and I used to stand in front of the TV and be in completely awe. Like literally, I just yeah, I just fell in love with it. Yeah. Can you share something about your journey from Pardesi dance group to Bollywood? Wow, it's been one kind of a journey, you know, like um it's been really tough, but uh no matter how, you know, hard it has been sometimes, it's been very beautiful as well. Um, you know, because I have got to live my dream. uh and i have got to do so much more than what i expected initially um which i'm truly grateful for um but yeah of course there has been a lot of obstacles and you know few times where you felt like i just give up you know i can't do this anymore but then you know how it has come back to me that no i'm not someone who gives up uh and this is what i love so much in life and i want to do this and i believe in myself so much that i know one day god will give it to me you know because i feel when you stay so honest to your work when you work hard you know you're just dedicated sincere it will come by the end of the day you know it might take a longer time um but it will come and i'm really grateful you know for this project that i got the verdict state versus nanavati uh you know i've got such a meaty role and such a beautiful one and such a beautiful project with wonderful actors you know this is what i've been waiting for um and then my other projects that i have as well that are going to release i'm truly grateful for them so yeah it's been a long journey and i've always said this like one day i'm going to write my book where i'm going to write down you know everything in details of what all i have experienced coming to india After dazzling Bollywood with your dance moves, you are all set to entertain as Mrs. Sylvia Nanavati. What made you audition for the role? Because I got very excited um because I knew about uh this case. Um mm, I obviously knew a little bit about the role. Um and yeah, I w- I was very excited uh about it and uh I said to myself that I have to nail this audition because I want this role. Um yeah. What was your first reaction when you came to know about you playing such a controversial character? I was actually crying out of happiness. I was so happy that they finalized me that you know Ekta, Subhash Kapoor, Shashank Shah, uh Samar that they all, you know, believed in me after seeing my audition and felt that okay, let's go ahead with Ellie, like let's give her this chance you know i'm so grateful to them for doing so um because it's been a dream role really how did you prepare for the role i prepared i mean um i for example colored my hair uh i went much lighter in hair color i worked on my english to get more british english um i worked on my body language um i even you know created my own playlist with songs from the 50s uh which was like silvia's playlist I, so in the morning when i used to wake up and uh on my way to the shoot i used to play that playlist and i used to always wear a special perfume with like a old school fragrance which i have made you know i have named it as silvia's uh perfume mm, and then i always used to like have the indian 
chai uh, masala like in the mornings as I was getting ready with hair and makeup. Uh, that's something I normally don't do but that was also something as a tool which I uh, created to step into uh, Sylvia. And then of course, you know, I was pulling out a lot of emotions within me that I have, you know, had throughout my life and putting them together with uh, Sylvia, trying to understand her, how she must have felt in all these kind of situations. Um, yeah. How do you manage to stay fit amidst your busy schedule? Oh, that is very difficult. I did actually not manage. Uh, I was shooting back to back, not only for this project, but for some other projects as well. In between, I shot for Chama Chama as well. Uh, and it was so hectic, like, my days used to be like, I used to just sleep like three hours a day. Like, it was really hectic that I actually ended up injuring my knees uh, by the end of the year, uh, which led to that it was so difficult to even, like, stand. So in between the takes, I had to go and sit down immediately. But what I did was I started with, you know, um, physiotherapy and, you know, work on my small muscles. I made sure to not push myself, uh, you know, once everything was done, all the shoots were done. I made sure that I didn't go and push myself to go to the gym or something, you know, because then you will injure yourself extremely, you know, um, and then you would be like gone, literally. I know this because I was into sports, I was a figure skater before and I've injured my knees back then as a teenager. So I know the process, you really have to take it slow, eat properly, allow your body to rest, you know, it's so important to just sleep and just rest and do nothing. I know it's quite difficult sometimes because you feel like, oh my God, I'm doing nothing, but actually you're doing so much for your body the time when you are allowing yourself to just rest and do nothing. So yeah, so I, I, you know, I make sure to balance it out or as in make sure to take those breaks where I boost myself up because sometimes it gets really hectic during such schedules, yeah. Any future projects? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I can share now that I'm being part of uh, Inside Edge 2 and uh, I'm excited about that one as well, yeah. And then I have another project as well, but uh, I haven't spoken about it yet, so I'm not going to do it now either. Message for your fans? Um, that would be, uh, please uh, watch The Verdict State vs Nanavati, releasing on 30th of September on Alt Balaji and on Z5. Do watch it. Hey guys, check out our revamp website at www.indiaforums.com to get your daily dose of entertainment. Hi, I'm Elia Avram and you are watching me on India Forums. Ashna Nadakarni, camera person Mangesh and Babaji, India Forums, Mumbai.